Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to solve for p. So p is in the denominator or on the bottom. So how do we solve for p? We need to have it by itself but on the top, right? So if it's dividing on this side, that means we have to multiply by p. And again, we multiply on both sides. So now that way we can cancel p on this side. And rewriting this, we have x over 2 equals 4 times w times p over y squared. But we still don't have p by itself. We need to get rid of the 4w and the y squared. So first, let's get rid of the 4y um, squared. How do we get rid of the y squared? If it's dividing here, we have to multiply by y squared. Again, on both sides. So we cancel it from here. Now rewriting this, we have y squared times x over 2 equals 4wp. Now, we need to get rid of the 4w. How do we get rid of the 4w? If it's multiplying, we have to divide by 4w, again, on both sides. So we divide by 4w. That way we cancel it from here. Now rewriting this, we have, I'm going to write p on this side now, and this on the other side. And we have p equals y squared times x over 4w times 2. Okay? But now this is not the final answer yet. We have to simplify this equation. So we have to multiply these two numbers, 4 and 2. And we get p equals y squared times x over 4 times 2 is 8, so 8 w. Now this is your final answer, and that's how you solve for p.